Claude Rains has to be considered one of the finest actors of the 20th century. His name may be unfamiliar to some today, but as soon as you hear that voice, that marvelous, unmistakable voice of honey mixed with gravel, he becomes instantly recognizable. I have wandered in many lands, seeking the lost region from which my birth into this world exiled me, and the company of creatures such as I myself. I found flocks and pastures, men and cities, but no other Caesar. And that scornful right eyebrow, which could freeze an adversary faster and more effectively than any physical threat. He stood at a mere five foot six, yet his enormous talent and immense stage presence made him a giant among his colleagues. During a stage and film career that spanned six decades, Reigns encompassed some of the most memorable and exciting characters ever created by an actor. Villains were a Reigns specialty, particularly those of a suave and sarcastic nature. If I wish to obliterate such a rival as your talented but highly neurotic husband, I should employ simpler measures. I would raise his unstable mind to the highest of pinnacles. I might allow my music to do that, and then strike him down with unlovelier but more appropriate weapons. And yet when the role called for it, Reigns could be remarkably moving and even add a touch of pathos without losing any of his effectiveness. Take his Oscar-nominated role in Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious. Here he's playing a Nazi conspirator who discovers his wife is an American agent. Watching him, you feel the character's sense of panic, fear, and desperation. And you almost sympathize with a character even as loathsome as this. That's the sign of a brilliant actor, knowing how to grab an audience's empathy without them realizing it. And he could slip into sympathetic parts with ease. One of my favorites is Mr. Skeffington, where Claude plays a loving yet neglected husband of Betty Davis's vain socialite. After years of emotional abuse and wartime separation, Skeffington and his now aged wife are reunited. It's a performance so sensitive and so believable that it brought tears to my eyes even watching as a kid. Early in my career, I had the good fortune to work with Claude in what would be his final film role. The movie was Twilight of Honor. In it, I played a young attorney assigned to defend an accused murderer. Claude had the role of a retired lawyer acting as my mentor. He was in his 70s then and in failing health. Yet he was charming and totally professional on the set. It was clear to us that he loved practicing his craft. He dazzled us all. Claude was an extremely private man. He never discussed his humble beginnings, his six marriages, or any of that. But get him into a conversation about acting, and he opened up with delightful anecdotes and fascinating stories about his long life as a thespian. One day on the set, I mentioned to him that Notorious is one of my favorite films, and Claude related with amusement the filming of a particular scene with Ingrid Bergman. Bergman steals Claude's wine cellar key from his chain just as he enters their bedroom. He approaches her and they begin to embrace and kiss, and she's hiding the key in the palm of one hand and then the other. Now, Reigns was a very short man and Bergman was quite tall. So in order to shoot them in close up together, the resourceful Alfred Hitchcock had a ramp installed. So as Reigns approaches Bergman, on camera he appears taller than his co-star. Claude found this ramp business a bit embarrassing and very funny. <laughs> I got another taste of Claude's witty nature, shooting a scene in our film in which he had a long piece of dialogue. Generally, he had no problems remembering his lines, despite getting along in years. However, there was one particularly long scene shot late at night where he was having a lot of trouble with the dialogue. Now, the prosecutor, special prosecutor, if you please, is going to use every trick in the book to put Ben Brown in the gas chamber, just as you're going to use every legal trick to keep him out. And, and he kept making excuses. Well, the lines aren't this, and the blocking isn't that, and mm, people are walking behind the camera, etc. And finally he paused and with a sheepish look said, oh, Alibi Ike, good old Alibi Ike. Of course, in the finished film, he played the scene flawlessly, as he always did.
I cherish the experience of working with Claude Rains, and all of us can cherish the many, many brilliant performances he left us on film. Claude Rains, truly a class act on and off screen. As always, you are generous to a fault. For Turner Classic Movies, I'm Richard Chamberlain. Celebrated cinematographer Jack Cardiff brings the education of Vivian Lee's Queen of the Nile into focus for Caesar and Cleopatra. Friday at 6.30 a.m., only on Turner Classic Movies.